Hi. So there's a lot of inf a lot of people still questioning. Uh, can you use Live Code to build for the Mac App Store with sandboxing? And yes, you can. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, instead of just code signing your app, you have to add entitlements. So I built this uh, very basic application, and I'm going to show you how you would sandbox it. So um, bum, 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 bum. let me get rid of this window. And I'm bringing up the standalone settings. So first of all, what you really need to do is you need to make a bundle identifier, just like you would for iPhone. So uh, Live Code doesn't actually put a name in there, so you have to put your own company name in there, and you make sure that you do that. Um, I'm going to add. First of all, you have to make sure it's Intel only. Uh, then I need to choose. my icon and I'm going to choose that same icon and so now that's all taken care of now we also want to make sure we do the copyright notice here the same company name okay so we're all set there and we're ready to build our application and this is just a little test application, does uh, text. We're just going to save that as a standalone. And for now, let's put that in the dock. Okay, so our application's in here. And what we need to do now is we can open the package contents if we would like, because it's not signed yet. Let's get into here. And this has no externals, but if you had an external, you would have to code sign the externals first without the sandbox entitlements. But we don't have that. But one thing we want to do is I'm only going to support English. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of these other projector files, like Spanish, French right now. I'm not going to have that supported in my application. If we don't get rid of these extra L P R O J files, uh, then the App Store would say, hey, you support Spanish even though you're not supporting Spanish. So I've deleted those out of there. And now we need to sign the application. So I'm going to use this tool here to sign my app with my Mac App Store certificate. Oops, it's reporting that it didn't sign with that other thing. Let's make sure that go back to our standalone settings. Oh, and it didn't save it. So we had to make sure that tool there caught the fact that our bundle identifier wasn't saved for some reason. And maybe the best way to do this is we'll just hit save. And let's make sure again, let's build again. And let's go into this one. Now it still has all those projector files in it, but for right now I'm just going to show you for sandboxing. Okay, and there's my icon. And this will be version 1.0. And we can pick our application category. Let's just call it productivity. Now let's make the minimum version for our tool 7.4 because that's for sandboxing. Let's turn sandboxing on by this switch here. And now sandboxing is on. Here's all the different entitlements that we can add. There's actually even more than what's listed here. I'm just going to turn sandboxing on and show you what happens uh, when you just turn sandboxing on but don't add any entitlements. So you can see how many errors will pop up. Okay, so what we want to do now is go back into the basics and we want to make and sign package. But what I want to do is I want to select sign only because I'm going to be testing the sandbox environment. I don't need to build a package right now to go to the Mac App Store because I'm testing just the sandbox for live code.
Another thing you need though is uh, Live Code version 5.5 has added uh, the Powerbox dialog. So if you don't have Live Code version 5.5 or later, uh, you will need that because um, that's the only way you can access folders and files is basically if you want to use uh, folder and file dialogs like answer and ask file or answer and ask folder, you have to use the Powerbox dialogs and RunRev added that to version 5.5 and later. Okay, so our app is now sandboxed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to the dock. And at the same time, we want to bring up what's called the console. Okay. And here's the thing we want to do in the console is we want to uh, search string. So I'm going to search sandbox D. So the name of the tool is called sandbox D. And you can see right here, there are some uh, file denies for Apple's own preview application. Yes, some of uh, Apple's own applications are actually uh, denying access to sandboxing. So it's not just us, it's Apple too. Okay, so I'm going to run this application. This is the one from uh, Live Code. So let's run it and you'll see what happens. Okay, so immediately when I run it, you can see that I'm getting uh, a print error saying I don't have access to uh, the print tool. So the Live Code engine, even if you're not adding printing, uh, automatically flags this. So you're going to have to uh, enable printing. Now, if I try to import a file, a text file here, uh, I'm going to have some problems and it's probably gonna actually crash the application from even working because I have not enabled the uh, sandboxed uh, power box dialogs yet so let's just try it Oh, I pressed it nothing's working now you can see my app has literally frozen what is supposed to happen here is actually it's supposed to quit so you would do quit 173 and would exit your application because you were uh, got sandbox entitlements on, but it's denying you access. So we're going to have to force quit out of this application. It'll take a couple times to do. So it seems like uh, a live code app doesn't. <laughs> Come on, quit. It's having a hard time force quitting out of this. Uh, it doesn't want to force quit. It doesn't want to do anything. Um, well, that's very interesting. So, obviously, you can see what happens uh, in a sandboxed environment. You're basically, your application kind of crashes. Finally, it's quit. So, what we have to do is go back into Live Code again, make another build of our same app. So we'll go back in here again, and we'll hit Save as Standalone. And now we are going to add the entitlements to make this application work. So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to clear out this form, and I'm going to take this new build. I'm going to drag it in here. I'm going to take my application icon and drag it in. I'm going to have to refill out most of this information. I'm going to pick my category in Productivity. I'm going to say... I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Now let's go back into the sandboxing tab. Okay, we want to make sure sandboxing is on again. Now what we want is we want read write access to user select files. So we're going to click this box right here. Now if you also remember we had a sandboxing error of printing so we have to allow printing. So let's look for that. We got movies folder, pictures folder, address book, calendar, use printer. Okay, so we're going to use these two objects in our uh, sandboxing entitlements. We'll go back to the basics here. Oh yes, we do want to save them. So let's hit save. And our entitlements are saved. Okay, let's go back to basics. Sign and make package. Sign only app because we are just testing this. And it is complete. We can close this window. And 
I'm going to drag this to the dock. This is our new application that is now sandboxed. Um, let's clear the display. Again, you want to filter uh, sandbox D. That's the daemon that uh, reports violations. Now we're going to launch our application. And as you notice, so far we don't have any violations within our console. So the print dialog thing did work. And now let's try import. Okay, we do get that, but we do get some kind of error up here where you notice that um, our sheeted window didn't work quite right. Well, let's just try bringing in a text file. I'm just going to take this um, cocoa based thing. That works pretty good. And let's go for export. Again, we do have this weird thing here. And I'm going to tell you about why it's doing this. It seems like there is somewhat of a bug in live code that won't allow you to sheet these dialog windows. So instead of using sheet, you're going to have to go back into your code and tell it not to sheet. I'll still save uh, this file. Okay, so let's call it test1 and I'll save it to the desktop. And as you can see here on my desktop is the file. So it did work, but okay, we do have one error. And I wanted to do that just to show you that that does occur. So um, that application works. So I'm just going to quit the application. We didn't have any sandbox uh, violations. It worked perfectly. The only problem we did have is that when I do use the import script, um, this as sheet part doesn't work. So get text file. I'm just going to put this in really fast. Okay. And I'm going to go over here to my export area. And again, I'm going to remove this sheet. And now we'll build this one more time and you'll see that it works without the sheeting. Uh, so we'll save it as application one more time. Okay, so we get another version. Oops. And I accidentally deleted it, so it better work. <laughs> that happens occasionally with me. I always like want to delete the app from live code. Don't ask me why I do it. Okay, so let's just go 1.0. Again, let's take our category productivity. Uh, for now, let's just Okay, and hit, hit save again. Okay, let's go back to basics. Make and sign. Again, we just want to do application only. Let's sign the application, and we'll close the window. And now this app is signed, so I'm going to move the old one out of the dock, put the new one in the dock so I know which one's active. Again, we start it up. We have no sandbox violations. And as you can see, import now works pretty good here. The dialogs do pop up, and I can't find a, a text file now because <laughs> that's what it is. So sandboxing does work uh, with live code, and so I'm using this third-party tool. It's called RB Package Maker. So sandboxing does work from uh, live code. Uh, it actually works from any kind of application. And uh, there's not very many sandboxing entitlements, so there's somewhat of uh, problems with certain things. Um, you can use uh, shell scripts, but some of the command line tools, say like uh, um, screen capture, that will not work because that's a global uh, application. Another thing is um, sandboxing has its own containers. So when you are using your own containers, um, what you want to do is use special folder path, you know, and say home. When you say home, it returns back uh, the area for the container, uh, your application identifier. That's why you want to add your application identifier because that's basically the container for your application's own documents. And you can save any kind of data. You can save. Uh, documents, anything. It's kind of like iPhone and iOS, just using special folder path. But make sure you use special folder path, and especially for temporary, use special folder path temporary.